Welcome to the new module. Uh, we have learned what's uh, consumer lending, what's risk management. Uh, now we look at uh, in a banking environment, uh, how does the consumer lending and the risk management uh, fit in? Okay, so we'll use a national bank as example. First, let's look at uh, consumer lending within banking. Here we use a full service bank as example. Uh, consumer lending business can exist in a lot of different uh, businesses. Uh, however, bank is a typical uh, lending institution. Uh, people are familiar with that. So let's use this as example, okay? So in a typical full service uh, national bank, there are three major business pillars. Uh, first is a personal and a commercial. This division provides deposit and loan services to both personals and uh, businesses. So the deposit service means that uh, uh, as individual or business, uh, you can deposit your money uh, into the bank's account. Uh, it receives a little bit uh, uh, interest. Uh, also the bank uh, can facilitate you your uh, payment transfer uh, to pay your bill uh, or for your uh, business operational needs. Uh, in the meantime, uh, with the money deposited, uh, the bank will make decision to lend it out to people uh, who have the need and also upon evaluation uh, who has the capability to uh, repay the loan back. So that's the loan business. Uh, essentially, uh, personal and commercial banking division provides deposit and loan services. Uh, this is the bread and butter business of banking. Uh, that's what a bank is originated uh, uh, from uh, deposit and loan. So that's the first uh, pillar. Uh, the second pillar is the uh, capital market. So this is a division that provides services related to a financial market. Uh, the services uh, it provides include uh, uh, investment banking, merger and acquisition, uh, the issuance of a company's uh, uh, securities, uh, whether it's uh, equity uh, or debt. Uh, equity means the stock, uh, debt means uh, bond. Uh, besides those, uh, there are also uh, consulting research services. Uh, the typical clients of uh, capital market are uh, corporations, so uh, asset managers, private equity firms, uh, also uh, governments. So the workplace in capital market is uh, fast and furious uh, versus the uh, personal commercial, commercial banking is more slow and steady. Okay, so depending on your uh, personal preference, uh, there are different opportunities for you. Uh, so the third major business pillar within the full service bank is a wealth management. Uh, by the name, uh, this division provides services to help clients manage their wealth. Uh, the services include uh, financial planning, uh, investment advisory, and some other services around the wealth. Uh, this division also provides uh, mutual funds uh, for different investors, such as uh, institutional investors, uh, high net worth uh, and uh, retail investors. Uh, they all have the investment needs. So for high net worth, uh, different banks have different thresholds. Uh, for example, one bank could define uh, whoever has more than $250,000, uh, that's considered the high net worth. They receive personalized uh, services, also known as uh, private banking. Uh, for 
retail investors, uh, these are individual clients uh, who are still building their wealth, uh, not that wealthy yet. Uh, they typically receive a standard services. Uh, in recent years, uh, with technology, there is a robo advisor, uh, which is a promising to provide more differentiated uh, services to uh, individuals as well. So these are the three uh, major business pillars of a full service bank. Thank you.